Hello everyone, Ali here and welcome to the gold mine. Thank you so much for joining me here on another episode of Ali's Treasure Trove. Today we do have a new episode of Ali Chat and you'll be seeing me get ready for Thursday's 5k subscriber cosplay unboxing special. So I will be getting ready here as Conan from Naruto. I did pick this top in particular because I've noticed in a lot of the Naruto universe, a lot of in in universe female characters tend to have like mesh. <laughs> So I was like, okay, this works for an under, you know, under outfit. Uh, that somewhat makes sense if, you know, for this, you guys will see me put on my coat at the end of the video. But also I do have to record, of course, for the Titan Cards channel, those Wednesday videos, clearly authentic, some, some uh, not Modern Horizons 2, but Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Magic Gathering, and also Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So I do need to wear an outfit that's also usable. Because as you guys know, if you're familiar with Naruto, the Akatsuki coats have ridiculously long sleeves. So I'm not sure how the unboxing itself is going to go. I'm very excited, of course, to actually put on my Conan cosplay for the first time. Very excited to check out those cute little minifigures. If you guys missed that video, make sure you go check it out. Of course, I'll go ahead and link it right up there for your guys' convenience. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go just quite yet. I imagine I'll have some difficulty with the sleeves. Another thing I'm a bit worried about is my hair. Now, I tried to record an end of video special doing this on camera, was not possible. Could not get it to work uh, at looking at the monitor and Trying to watch like a YouTube tutorial and stuff did not work at all. So I did get this taken care of off camera. It's huge. I have a ton of hair, a ton of hair. So I'm worried that that's going to fall. So I, I don't want to take super long here in the alley chats. And of course, every time I say that the alley chats usually about 40 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. Also not going to be 110% accurate cosplay. I of course do not have a lip piercing. I also was unable to find a fake stud. I was trying to find some like some magnetic. I was finding ones that weren't the appropriate shape because she does have a little a little ball. So I was trying to find the the special did did well actually just the five k milestone in general did sneak up on me. Uh, so I had meant to check a Spencer's one time when I was at the mall. I just haven't remembered the past few times I've been there, and I was like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. I can do it next time. And then we just hit five k, and I was like, okay, so I won't have that. I do have a couple of options when I get the coat. I do have a couple flowers to put in my hair. I'm not sure which one will look better. I have a dark blue and I have a light blue. Neither of which are like 100% matched the color. I do have a picture of Conan pulled up here so I know which side to put it on. So not 100% match, but it does look nice. So I'll decide that at the end of the video. So yeah, I also won't wear contacts. I don't like stuff in my eyes. So I'm not putting on orange contacts. I was debating to maybe do an orange look on the eyelid instead to like recreate her eyes. But Conan does wear like dark purpley blue eyeshadow. So do need to go with that. So I did pick this color here is what I'm planning to go in with this, this, this one here. If that color doesn't work out very well, cause uh, I love the green here in this divine palette, but in my experience, a lot of the other colors are so very, I, I, I bought this palette for the green in particular. The green is amazing. So I'm very happy that works out super well, but if this color ends up not transforming very well into my eyelids, I will just go ahead and find something else. I, I have some other backup blues. Nothing perfectly matching what she has, uh, but of course my hair doesn't perfectly match hers either, so I tried to pick something that go better with my hair. Because uh, if you guys are not aware, I did actually get my hair done on Tuesday, post on my personal Instagram, and you can see the blue highlights better than I think you can see on camera. Of course you can see hair dye still a little bit in my hairline. Hopefully I'll be able to cover that up well with foundation, but I'm ready to get started, so... Let me start prepping my eyelids so that way I can quit worrying about whether or not the blue comes out well. I can just try it and see for myself. But yeah, I'm very excited for this special. Very excited to check out those cute little Naruto figures. Actually picked up from Anime Fix this morning. I'm actually recording on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. I meant to pick those up this week. Yet, well, actually, no. This weekend's MetroCon in Tampa. Usually I've got an anime fix on Saturday mornings because that's when Bobby the owner is there. Just because I like I like talking to him. It used to be that his mom worked because his mom, he, he employs his mom to run the shop a lot. Uh, his mom used to work on the weekends and used to work weekdays. So I had to like try and finagle a weekday to go. Not that I dislike his mom. It's just, you know, I like talking to Bobby himself. I know him better. Uh, but then they switched. So now she works during the week and then he works weekends. But the thing is, though, is that MetroCon in Tampa, which depending on how I feel, I was looking on the website, tickets for a Sunday are $45, which I feel like is a lot for a Sunday. But of course, I'm sure the event costs more, need more, to pay more for sanitation, I think, and, the, you know, janitors and whatnot. So I figure the costs are higher this year anyways. I just wasn't, wasn't expecting to be $45 for a Sunday ticket. 
Like Metrocon's not that fancy, not that fancy. So I was a little bit surprised by that. So I may or may not be there. I'll post on Instagram if I'm there. Uh, I'll probably decide on Thursday. So I'm gonna give you guys a heads up. If you guys are going to Metrocon, come hang out with me if I do decide that I'm going. You see a Conan walking around with a really horrible bun? You know it's yours truly. But anyways, let me, I put on, I'm super distracted in this episode. There's so much that I want to talk about, and I also don't know what to talk about at the same time, so it's just all just boop, 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 boop. But I put on my eye primer. Let me get my spray, so that way hopefully this holds better. Like I said, majority of this palette, in my personal experience, is trash. Trash. But the green is on another level. So that's basically all I care about most of the time. But then I look at these other colors and be like, man, a lot of this would be useful. Why do you have to suck so bad? But anyways, let's go in with this. I am using, I, I was going to use my Marc Jacobs brushes, but I've been having a lot of issues with those. I think it honestly, I just need to retire and get new brushes. They worked great when I first got them, but I think just from cleaning them and the bristles, I feel like they just kind of go everywhere now. So it's not as controlled as I need it to be because I'm not great at eyeshadow application and to not get it everywhere just starting off with this Fenty dual-sided brush. Maybe just get a bunch of Fenty brushes. Waiting for the next Sephora sale, because brushes, as I think I talked about in the last Alley Chat, brushes aren't cheap. Real makeup brush. Of course, you can get like $2 brushes at Target from like e.l.f., which I do have a few of those, because I remember growing up, I say growing up, but like when I was in high school and I started kind of collecting makeup, I didn't really start using makeup till the channel. I would have it for like special events, but I have a lot of older palettes that I bought in high school. But I know some of you are probably like, yeah, you're not supposed to keep forever. But if I hadn't used them until the past year, they're fine because they were sealed. But I was initially like a makeup collector, like, I'll use this one day. And then uh, I was like, no, that's never going to happen. But it turns out I was right. I am using it someday. I have a lot of older, especially Kat Von D palettes. Of course, when she came out as a nutcase. I stopped supporting the brand. She doesn't even have anything to do with the brand anymore now it's kvd beauty it's some kind of vegan brand i don't know how well they're doing it's weird because they redid the packaging and they did it all but it's still kvd beauty so it's still in my mind it's like oh the cat von d brand and i really don't know if that line's going to survive or not but definitely did have a lot of good vegan makeup when she ran and lots of crazy colors that was kind of her shtick and definitely at the time, there wasn't a lot of brands doing stuff. Now, of course, there's different like Fenty palettes that have cool stuff. I do have the Moroccan Spice. I know not everyone loved the Moroccan Spice palette. I've used a couple shades in it. Haven't used a ton. I like it. Should have looked to see if maybe there was a blue in there. I could have brought that with me today. But I have like six palettes at work. And the rest of my makeup just lives at home. Because I'm like, I don't really need to look for colors. I'm sure I have something at work. And then I didn't have... I didn't have. So I was like, okay impromptu but hey this isn't like a super accurate conan this is a realistic conan minus the piercing so. but i'm excited to try it out putting my kotsky coat to use for the first time had it custom made from i think nick cosplay store or something similar along those lines on etsy I actually have the tab open uh, i had to send over my measurements I had assistants. I need to take my measurements today for the Slave Leia cosplay. Nick Cosplayer, yeah. Shop cosplay costume on Etsy. So not cheap, but definitely well worth the quality. Really excited to see how that Slave Leia comes out. Which I can also actually get that approved by the Rebel Legion for if I wanted to do any kind of special events and like certified authentic-ish Leia cosplay. Or however that works. And I'm excited. That'll be, that should be here for 2021 Star Wars Stellar Signatures. Which currently doesn't have a release date. I'm getting a little, not necessarily nervous, but I'm starting to wonder if it'll get put out kind of like Holocron, where Holocron was supposed to come out 2020 September and then got pushed and pushed and pushed. And I think literally came out on like the 31st or like the 30th, like almost New Year's, where it's like basically a 2021 product. So I'm wondering what's going to happen with Stellar because we already got the solicit for Masterwork and that's December 15th. Masterwork has been up for order. And the fact Stellar's not up for order implies to me that it has a later release date than Masterwork. Otherwise, why is it not up for order yet? 
I honestly, I honestly am wondering, I know I was in the large minority, minority, like super minority. I, I was literally the only positive comment that I saw on any platform that actually liked the base design of the autographs. Um, so I wonder if Tops actually saw all the people not liking the design and I wonder if they're actually redoing the design. Cause of course, as long as you didn't get anything signed, yeah, of course you lose out on the actual expense that you produce the cards, but there's only a hundred cases of Stellar. There's only a hundred different cards, you know? So that's not, it's not like they have to redo the entirety of like top series one baseball. You know what I mean? So I wonder if Topps is actually changing the design and that's why we haven't heard anything about it. I wonder if like perhaps one of the artists, like their sketches got uh, not approved and they had to redo it. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with Stellar. But hey, when that comes out, as long as Tops doesn't pull a fast one on it, be like, up for order, releases in two weeks. We'll have a new fresh cosplay. Also, it's on the way, hasn't arrived yet, but my Kira cosplay that I ordered for Masterwork, I'm excited to try that out. That was like a pre-made costume, and I was looking at the, uh, the ranges it gave for the sizes and centimeters, and I was like, that should fit. It was the cheapest, nice Kira cosplay on Etsy of when she's at the uh, the party ship or whatever with uh, the vis Vision, Dryden Vox, Paul Bettany. Vision. <laughs> that's Star Wars, right? Vision, yeah. But that party, that's the dress. So nice dress. I would have liked to have like her coat and different stuff. But all the ones I was looking at, I was like, I don't want to spend that much on Akira cosplay. Maybe one day, but... I just want to buy a bunch of Naruto cosplay. That's the thing too with the Akatsuki coat. Because I can do a whole bunch of stuff. I know actually Billy, our TCG player guy over at Titan, uh, has a Toby mask. I just put the Toby mask on. Boom, new cosplay. <laughs> very, very useful for multi-cosplays. Multi, multi you know? If I ever go super dark, I can just be super edgy and be like, I'm Sasuke. You know? In the coat, if I want to get a blonde wig, and I can draw like fake tongues on my my hand, I can be Daydara, you know. A lot of different stuff I can do with the coat. And I knew I was going blue with my hair, so I was like, Kona. I was planning on actually just not even doing makeup, but I'd been thinking about going to MetroCon for a while. And I was like, oh, I could just show up as Conan. Now I'm not even sure if I'm going to go, but hey, you know what? I'm using my cosplay. And that actually, the blue looks good. I did actually a good job. You know, when I can actually control the brush well, turns out makeup looks better. I need new brushes. I don't want to... <sighs> At least I get to write it off of my taxes as a business expense. Since my... According to my taxes last year, my official job title is promoter slash influencer. I don't know about that, but sure. Sure, Mr. IRS. Anyways, let me finish up my eyes here. And we'll get into my face. Let me make sure I'm recording. That'd be horrible if I wasn't. I don't know why, but it has happened a few times where I think I pressed the button and either I didn't click the exact button, clicked like slightly adjacent, and I'm not recording. But it's happened multiple times. I think it's happened three times. But for some reason, it only happens with Yu-Gi-Oh product. Just trying to be like, oh, we have a new booster box of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I open it, I wrap it up, I look over, and I was like, that button's not on. So that's why I'm always paranoid about not hitting record. And actually, when I used to record the camera separate, it's a long, long time ago, before Ally was in HD, over on the Titan Cards channel, I did a day's worth of videos where I actually just didn't hit record on the, the face cam. So there's a chunk of videos out there, I think, Select Basketball 2019-20, um, encased football, and maybe something else where there is just no face cam in the corner because I didn't record it. Anyways, I think the eyes look good. I'm noticing I'm a bit red here. I did go swimming on Sunday. First time I've been in a pool in like 10 years, but I did get a little sun. It looked cute. Looks like I have, like I already put blush on, but I haven't, of course. But anyways, all right, this is still wet. Usually I talk, sometimes, not usually, but sometimes I talk so long that the, the beauty blender dries out and then I feel like my makeup doesn't go on as well. But it seems good today. Why did I close this? 
Of course, I'm not using this palette today, the Natural Lust, but I am, of course, using that mirror. Biggest mirror that I have. Biggest mirror that I have. Very nice mirror as well. All right, let's put my primer. I feel like my under eyes are looking a lot better. I won't say I'm getting more sleep than usual because I don't believe that I have. But as I mentioned, I think in last time's alley chat, not last week, because this is every other week, bi-weekly, I did in my recent Sephora haul, I got an extra one of these eye creams that I keep here for uh, what the lady recommended I use as a base for my concealer. I got one of those and I've been using it at night at home. So I can honestly say I am seeing a difference very happy that I have it. Definitely doing its job to make me not look like a raccoon constantly. All right, let me put this on. That's way too much on the left side. I guess I could do the triangle thing. That's not really a triangle. All right. I mean, waste and product. No. All right, all right. I feel like I'm still not used to the eye cream though. There are days where I'm just doing my makeup like off camera, you know, because of course I don't record an alley chat every time I do my makeup. Sometimes I just am ready to get down to business. And sometimes I just, I have it out, but I forget to grab it. And I'm like putting on my foundation. I'm like, wait, I didn't put on my eye cream. And I'm like, well, too late now. But still, I do think it really helps. And if it's not helping my makeup stick, it's at least making my dark circles look better. So either way, it's getting the job done. But anyways, let's go ahead. This is almost empty. If I need to grab, I do have a new one ready to go. If I need to grab the new one, I will go do so. All right. That's a lot of foundation I just squirted out, but it will, it will get used. I've noticed sometimes I, I get too chintzy with my uh, my foundation. And then of course it doesn't look as good because it's not as full coverage and it's like, I have all this foundation on, but I can still see all my acne. And it's like, well, yeah, because I didn't, didn't actually use a lot of foundation. I just put it on. I put I went through all the effort of doing my makeup, but I didn't actually put much makeup on and that's why I don't look good today. But Especially with the beauty blender, you do want to use more because, of course, the sponge soaks up a decent amount of product. All right, definitely used a bit much, bit much, but hey, like I said, it all got used there. Skin should be acne proof now. But I have this little problem spot on my chin. It's very annoying. I feel like every time I fix one area, there's a new area that pops up where I'm like, ugh, why are you breaking out? Definitely a lot better than it used to be when I was growing up. Horrendous. Used to be horrendous. Now it's just I, I drink too much coffee and too much sugar. That's why I have a bunch of acne. But still, I can't believe there was a time in my life before I, I learned that you're supposed to use moisturizer. And then I was like, why is my skin super oily? Because it's, it's so dehydrated that it's trying to make its own moisture, which just comes out, of course, as oil. So there, there was a point in, I don't know, I just, you know, my mom has a skin type that she doesn't have to use moisturizer. Of course, it helps, but if it's anything, it's always super lightweight. So it's just, my skin doesn't do well. Florida, there's super oily patches. There's super dry patches, very 
Very weird skin. Combination skin's always a pain in the butt. Because especially I've noticed when I, I have to use different products on different parts of my face. Uh, you know, stuff that's like, oh, for combination skin. It, it's, it, it's a good blend, but it's not enough for me that the hydration is hydrating enough for the dry part. And that the uh, anti-oil is enough for the anti <laughs> for the oily part. It just it doesn't do enough either way. So once I finally figured out, I, I won't say skincare routine, but products that suit my my skin. Even when I'm like, man, I'm having a bad bad acne day. It's it's it still looks super nice, super nice compared to. I started getting pretty bad acne, I think, in second grade is the earliest that I remember being super embarrassed about acne. I remember having, that's when I started getting like super big pimples. I don't necessarily have cystic acne. I do have this one recurring one um, right here in my cheek that they can't take out. I've talked to my dermatologist about it. Uh, whenever it flares up where it's big enough for them to actually remove uh, they can't take it out because you can't take out cysts that hurt. It does, I don't know, something about the type of thing. You can't remove it when it hurts. So, you never actually take it out. And then it just kind of, I guess, shrinks back up, goes in dormant into my cheek and doesn't bother me until it flares back up. And I'm like, whoa, that's huge. So, I do have this little patch on my cheek. But it used to be horrible, like acne on my nose. I, bear, I very rarely get acne on my nose anymore. Which, of course, I am super thankful for. Used to be a lot of bad T-zone. Now it's just kind of like here and still chin. But I remember being in second grade. I very, very large pimple on my chin. And that's my earliest recollection of being embarrassed about my skin. And then it just until, until I'd say, college. <laughs> being 17 as a freshman. And then it started kind of clearing up. That's when I started eating better too. Of course, I know that's always like, oh, it's not just this, it's that, and this. It always is a combination of stuff. Definitely when I started eating healthier, definitely helped clear stuff up. But without having proper moisture, proper all different kinds of stuff, never would have gotten to be able to clear up like that. So definitely it's a mix of diet. That's why I think most of what it is, it's stress and sugar. My actual skin seems okay for the most part when when otherwise I'm chill. Or, you know, sometimes I sleep weird and I get super sweaty and then I wake up in the morning and I'll be like, that's going to turn into something. So, anyways. Not related to Naruto, even though this video is probably titled Conan Shots, but... Relative to the actual theme of Alley Chat in general, which is me getting ready and getting all pretty... All prettied up. But going back to Naruto, I did, as I think I mentioned, I, did, I didn't I did like the conversation while I was getting all my stuff set up earlier, so I actually have restarted the Conan chat. Of course, now we're 23 minutes into this one. But there was about seven minutes worth of content, and I'm like, I just don't like this. It was I hadn't even gotten ready yet, at starting it ready. I was just getting all my stuff all set up. I was about to put on my eye primer, and I was like, eh, I'm going to just start over. So... So I'm not sure if it was in this one or that one, but I actually picked up the little minifigures this morning on Wednesday. And of course, before I hear, because I put I, I put my phone on do not disturb while I'm recording, just so that way nothing happens. I used to just put it on mute, but now it just I just put it on do not disturb, so it doesn't even doesn't even vibrate or anything. I don't get curious as to what's going on. But now that Daydara and Android came in, so I'm like, man, I just picked up everything in Anime Fix. Of course, that is where I get my stuff unless it's some sort of exclusive i have to order online speaking of doo -doo -doo, my artworks monsters red eyes black dragon arrived today uh, so i'm probably gonna go ahead and open that up on tuesday or probably put a poll on patreon um let you guys probably put this up on wednesday what you guys want to see on tuesday for the unboxing also have this bleach figure uh, i picked up a bleach figure of the third Espada. Her name, right now, for some reason, I can only think of Nell, but not Nell, the other, the other female Espada. It's not technically a Mega House Gems, even though it was packaged in a Mega House Gems box, 
but it's actually a, an updated re-release from a figure that came out almost 10 years ago. So I was like, I don't have it. Sure, I'll pick that up. So that was my original plan for Tuesday, but now that my, my dragon is here, my Yu-Gi-Oh figure, I might want to do that instead. All right, all right, all right. So the face is done. Like I said, I am worried. Ooh, I didn't cut my chin right at all. That looks horrible. No, no. All right, unless I go completely this way, I can't really see it. So I'm going to just attempt to not turn my head this way in videos. As long as I'm kind of this way, it looks all right. Ah, that's so disappointing, though. That's so disappointing. That's why I try not to talk when I do it, because I feel like, you know, and stuff moves around. Ah, ah, it is what it is. All right. Let me go get my coat and my flower. This top isn't the most comfortable, but like I said, Ninja's Naruto universe have this weird mesh. It doesn't seem very protective, but I figured maybe that's what Conan wears underneath. Who knows? But anyways, when I go to, uh, if, when, if, when, I'm not sure yet, but if I'm at MetroCon, I'm probably wearing yoga pants for, like, black underneath pants and then flip-flops, because that's all I wear. Uh, but, you know, you can only see. I'm wearing jeans. Jean life. Anyways. Let me grab my coat. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Here are the options for the flowers. I wasn't sure which one goes better. Probably going to go with the dark blue one because that's what I did on my eyes. Look at this thing. It's nice. I'm worried to bend over any further than this and then like the bun falls out. I'm so worried about the bun falling out. Honestly, I might even take it down in the Titan Cards videos because I don't know if it'll last the length of those videos. Might just have it in like a half ponytail or something. All right. Hello. Uh, I'm a, I'm a actually open this up for now, just because, like I said, I don't want to get foundation all over this. Mon, I do think I'll probably go with this one here, this color. Since it matches my eyes. She has it in the picture on this side. So I'm matching. So that means it goes on this side. All right. Yeah. Swag. This is cool. I like it. I wish you could see the blue in my hair a bit more on camera, but definitely works. Definitely works. All right, Conan has been assembled. Ooh, I like that. I actually like my decision to wear this top. I think this actually looks super cool underneath. All right, yes, yes. This one's cute too. I wasn't sure which one. If I went with a lighter eye look, I do actually have a teal I was considering for the eyes. This would have been a good match, but I think the dark blue. 
looks looks great. All right, so did I get any? The setting spray does work wonders. Although I have noticed that's usually if when I start oiling up, if I touch my face at all, it starts rubbing off. So I am actually going to clock out. I count alley chats because you know I get ready on my own time for videos. I count it as actually working because I, I need to get ready for Titan Cards videos. Plus, I don't always put on my makeup, so some days I, I save time, some days it takes a little longer, makes sense. But I think I'm actually going to record the Conan chat. Or not Conan, this is the Conan chat. But I'm going to unbo unbox, unbox. I'm going to record that unboxing special first, so that way I also look the freshest. But yeah, definitely love my coat. Very excited. It's very sturdy as well. I remember my first impression when I actually got it and I tried it on. I was like, this isn't super Florida friendly. I can imagine if I do go to, if I am at MetroCon right now, it'll be very warm. But you know what? That just means I got to go to a con in the winter. It'll be nice and snuggly. That does it here for this Conan chat. Let me minimize that photo. So that way I have the proper list of all my patrons. But before we get into those end of video thank yous, really appreciate you guys watching this alley chat here. Conan chat, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and smack that like button. Comments, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Ali's Treasure Trove family, would love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But as I just mentioned a little while ago, I do have my little sheet pulled up because we have had a lot of adjustments recently. And of course, I am filming this on Wednesday. So if anybody joins, I do apologize. I don't have you on screen at the moment just because I recorded so far in advance. But thank you so much to all of you who are a patron on my personal Patreon. Really appreciate the support. Do have six Ultimate Excavators, Dustin Archuleta, Jack Prez, Keith Muna, Mako, Mark Lennon, and Stephen Olivo. Two Gemstone Miners of Anden and Stephen Bly. And two Crystal Collectors, David Mounts and John Michek. But thank you so much again to all of my patrons, whether you're on a tier in which I say your name at the end of every video or not. Really do truly appreciate your above and beyond support. But I'm excited. I want to do some more posing here in this coat. I like it. I like it a lot. It feels weird every time I look at myself. Uh, when I'm wearing darker colors, I feel like it looks weird, especially now that my hair is darker. It makes me view my skin color differently. I'm like, did I always look like this? And it's like, yes, it's just an optical illusion because of the colors. Really like my decision with this underneath here. I think that looks appropriately Naruto Ninja. But yeah, this is super fun. Let me... Do I have papers I can throw at you guys? I don't. Why don't I have any paper near me? Just imagine I have origami. Look, I made... Woo! I used my powers. I used my jutsu to make an origami flower for you guys. Here you go. This is for you. Look at that. This whole... A pack of like nine of these on Amazon was like five bucks. I'm like, heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, very cool. I had some I had some of the Kodan cosplay planned out. Just was didn't get... That's what it is that looks a little bit weird is I don't have the stud. And my eyes, of course, are not orange. But hey, I had a great time here. I think it looks good. My coat is sick. T-pose. Look at my clouds. Let me see with the hair. I like it. I like it. Not perfect, but I like it. But all right. With that, this coat is huge. I, I wonder, it's like a super cool outfit. They look super intimidating, but no wonder these things get ripped up in every fight. They are so impractical. They are so impractical, but they look so cool. But anyways, I am a full Naruto weeb now. I've officially seen all of Naruto, aside from, aside from some filler. Probably might go back and watch it at some point. I uh, did try to watch the recommended fillers that people liked along the way. So I've seen a lot of Naruto. And it, it, it took so long to watch all of it. As soon as I finished, I'm like, what am I going to do now? It's all gone. Now it's like when I get home, I'll just be like, oh, I'm tired. What am I going to do? Watch some Naruto. Like, I can't do that anymore. It's all finished. So weird. Weird. Now I guess I can watch The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. Still haven't done that. But anyways, I said thank you to all my patrons quite some time ago. And then I T-posed. As one does. But that does it here for this episode of Ali Chat. Thank you so much for joining me here. I know I was talkative in some parts, really quiet in some parts. Uh, quiet in some parts that I shouldn't have been and talking in some parts that I should not have. That's what the coat's for. Can't see my jawline if you literally cannot look at it. 
Anyways, that does it here for this episode of Alley Chats. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Take care, everybody. And I hope you'll join me next time as we unearth some more treasures here on Alley's Treasure Trove. Those of you who are patrons and haven't voted in that poll yet, make sure to go do that. Of course, time's taken. I record on Mondays. You guys don't have too much time to go ahead and answer that. Uh, patrons, make sure to look. Do I unbox the Bleach figure or the Yu-Gi-Oh figure? That poll should have been posted on Wednesday. But that does it here for me in this episode. Take care. Stay safe, everybody. And I hope you'll join me here next time. Bye. How do I pose for the thumbnail? This is pre-end of video content. Was I on this side before? No, I was on that side. All right. No. Maybe. Oh, we'll see. Might be a normal thumbnail. Let me take a normal thumbnail, too. All right. Bye.